It's about a young man who grows up in the Jewish ghetto in Montreal. Attached as he is to it, he feels he has to get away, you know, just to be able to breathe. You know? Mordecai Richter quite emphatically says in his short note here that it is not autobiographical at all, but anyone who reads this knows that it is. For example, Noah's grandfather, Noah is the main character. He says, I told you long ago that you are no longer welcome here. This is what uh, Shmaria Richler had told Mordecai when Mordecai was a teenager. For me, it's one of his most important works because this is where he comes back to Montreal for the first time in, in a novel. And the, the dialogue, the settings, you know, everything is authentic. You know, it just has a feel, a great energy to it. And uh, you can see that other novels are going to come out of this setting. If you want to look at Mordecai Richler's uh, oeuvre, then this is where, it, for me, it begins. At the time, the Jewish community hadn't been written about with such naked realism. Some are ill at ease. I think the editor of Viking England called it anti-Semitic. Maclean's gave it an award, but then they refused to publish excerpts from it. Richler's personal life is also raising eyebrows. In 1954, Mordecai marries his non-Jewish girlfriend, Kathy Boudreau. His father's response to the news is scathing. He says, now you have struck the blow. The doors of the Richler family will not welcome you. I have to be stern and very hard when it comes to honor and respect. Mordecai replied to his father, the Jewish tradition is not dependent on what kind of meat you eat or what God the woman you love was brought up to believe in. Your father worshipped God the way other ignorant men long before him worshipped stones. So he basically is declaring that he's a Jew and a Richler. <laughs> 